What's up gamers, today we're going to be making the player move around just like in any real game. Let's come over here and double click on my character on my controller that controls the character controller. And to move it, we literally need one line of code. Transform a position plus equals new vector 3. And inside of here, this is where we put how much we want to move. I'm going to type 0, 0, and 0 for now. Save it and go back into Unity. Let's press play. Yeah, the player is not moving. I'm going to click on the player, click on the move tool, and if I drag this little plane around right here, you'll see the player moves, and I can control the movement with these arrows. For the left and right movement, I'll control the X position. For the back and forward movement, I'll control the Z position. For jumping up and down, I'll control the Y position. And let's make a float movement X. And I'll set this to the movement of my left and right arrow keys. If you watched my previous tutorial, movement is input dot get access horizontal. Let's also make a float called movement Z, which is back and forward. And set this to the movement of my up and down arrow keys. Put that get axis vertical instead of zero. The first zero, I'm going to type movement X. And we don't want to control up and down movement of the player right now. But for the last zero, I'll type in movement Z. Save the script. To go back into Unity, and now I'm going to use my up arrow to move up, to move forward, my back arrow to move backward, my right arrow to move to the right, and my left arrow to move to the left, and you'll see it works. But if I start looking around and trying to move in that direction, so if I press the up arrow, I want to move this way instead of this way it's not working. It's actually very confusing and we want a way to be able to move in the direction the player is facing. So to fix this, we can use the character controller, public character controller called controller. And instead of using transform.position, I'm gonna delete this line and I'm just gonna make a new vector three movement and I'll set this equal to transform dot right times movement x plus transform dot forward times movement z so we're multiplying the left the direction the player is facing left or right times the movement x and the direction the player is facing forward times movement z. So that will just, so basically what this line does in the direction the player is facing. Let's type controller dot move movement. So we're using the character controller this time to move the player. I'm going to press save and go back into unity and let's press play. And we're getting another error. Hopefully this is only the second error message you're getting while using Unity. If it's not, just leave a comment below. Tell me your record of error messages. And what every message is saying is that the variable controller, the character controller controller has not been assigned. So basically what I need to do is drag the character controller component into controller and now it's been set. Let's press play. And now we're moving in the direction the player is facing. And I'm gonna face in this diagonal direction, move forward, you'll see I move forward, and I move back, and I can move left and right in the direction the player is facing. So that's awesome. In the next tutorial, we'll tackle the problem of gravity and also the problem where we can look all the way around so far though. So that's it for this tutorial. Make sure to smash subscribe for part three. We'll be adding gravity and jumping. Thanks for watching this tutorial and I'll see you then.